Hey everyone, James Tierney here. I uh, wanted to respond to a comment that I got on one of my old YouTube videos, which asked about the difference between the CPI, or the Consumer Price Index, and the GDP deflator, which is a question that uh, comes up a lot in my intro to macro class. So both the CPI and the GDP deflator try and measure a, uh, get an average of prices in an economy. The CPI, by definition, is taking a basket of approximately 210 goods that has been identified as the average urban family of four's monthly consumption and just measuring those month to month and seeing how it changes. The GDP deflator, on the other hand, doesn't have a specific basket of goods that's specific to consumers. The GDP deflator is looking at all goods and services that are included in GDP. So, you know, this would include a lot of things that the common household wouldn't consume, maybe uh, expensive cars. It also won't include things that maybe an average household will consume because they aren't produced within uh, that country, uh, or they may be used goods, lots of, lots of different things. So they're not exactly the same. We usually use CPI, which is the one that you'll see a lot if you're reading the news, that's usually the headline inflation number. Uh, we usually use CPI more because when we're thinking of inflation, a lot of times we're thinking of how it's impacting the consumer. So we will use the consumer price index more.